What's up, everybody? I'm back with another playthrough slash walkthrough of a tall tale. This one is the Shroud Breaker. Uh, the beginning of this video is me just playing through the actual tall tale itself from start to finish. And then the end of it is me showing all five journal locations. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I have new videos. Also, if you like this video specifically, hit that uh, like button. And I stream five days a week on Twitch, Monday to Friday from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Full details and schedule is in the description below. I hope you like the video. I hope you uh, find it helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. One moment. You do well to heed my warning, for this is no ordinary voyage you're contemplating. Few pirates have even heard of the shores of gold, let alone seen them with their own eyes. They say it's an island riddled with untold riches, ancient secrets, hidden tombs, and deadly traps. But you won't find it on any map, for it was swallowed up by the mists of the Devil's Shroud. This book is the journal of the pirate lord himself. It tells of his first ship, the Magpie's Wing, and the journey he took to find the mythical Shroudbreaker, the only way to part the fog and reach the shores of gold. If you dare to follow in the footsteps of the greatest pirate who ever lived, then take the journal and use it to find the wreck of the Magpie's Wing. It holds clues to the Shroudbreaker's whereabouts. Bring it to me, and I'll set you on your way to the shores of gold. But don't be fooled. Only the bravest, strongest pirates will make it back alive. I wish you luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> Let's begin. Journal of the Pirate Lord, Voyage for the Shroud Breaker, Ninth Summer on the Sea of Thieves. Chasing legends, another journey, another journal. The Shores of Gold, a great secret, an island of treasures swallowed by the Devil's Shroud. A lead, ancients could reach new islands through the mist. Parts the Shroud, Pathfinder, Wayfarer, Shroud Breaker. I will scour the Sea of Thieves and learn more. Artifacts of the Ancients found after days of scouring islands. Very old chest, still good as new. Totem inside, animal totem. More than a statue, a key? The key to the Shroud Breaker, sail to the secret places, use the totem, take the Shroud Breaker, drink, shores of gold, drink. <laughs> Ambush, the burning blade came for us. We are no match for her infernal cannons. I made my choice into the sea, went the chest. The ship's log will help us find it again. No one shall take it. We will lure them away from it. They caught us in the shallows of an uncharted isle. Uh, right between the Isles of Crooked Mass and an Old Crook's Hollow. My beloved magpie's wing has lost, uh, and with her my dreams of the Shores of Gold. The wreck now lies at the Uncharted Isle, between Crooked Mass and, uh, between these two islands, Crooked Mass and Crook's Hollow. Uh, the ship's log sank with the ship. Without it, we can't re reclaim the chest. Uh, another may yet claim the Shroud Breaker. That'll be me! All right, so the unmarked islands. We're going there to get to the magpie, the sunken ship, to get the ship's log to know where the chest was uh, was ditched. But we're essentially between Crook's Hollow and Crooked, Ma Crooked Mast and Crook's Hollow, so it'll be like right here-ish, that general area. So we're heading here to find the ship's log, right? Yeah. Ship's log sank with the ship. That we can't reclaim the chest. There's our uncharted isle. Crooked Mast is right there. Crook's Hollow is right behind us right here. This little island has a bunch of, like, underwater, uh, I guess you call them, like, I wouldn't call them hills, but little, like, coves or something. Reefs. There you go. It's a better word. Okay, now we're just looking for the magpie. Magpie. 
Looking for the ship's log. If I'm not mistaken, the ship's log actually shines. I think. It might be. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yoink. Is added. Let us read. Magpie's wing, ship's log. All right, the magpie's wing. So it's 6.30, anchoring down on the south side of Discovery Ridge. Captain's gone ashore. So we'll just follow along on the map here. So south side of Discovery Ridge. So bang right there. Uh, captain's gone ashore. The Burning Blade. We are fleeing southeast. Uh, they are turning to pursue. Passing a large tangled nest of islands to the starboard. Now heading east by southeast. So Burning Blade started fleeing southeast. And then passed a large tangled nest of islands. So headed southeast, which would be this way. And I'm assuming that large tangled nest of islands is, is either shark bait or uh, Old Salt's Atoll. I'm guessing it's shark bait because it's a big island. Um, now heading east by southeast, so just a little more east, so kind of this way. Uh, throwing the chest into the water north of a small island, continuing east. So either here or here, they toss it in. Either north of Lookout or Booty, I'm not really sure which one. Burning Blade pursued to a large island, evading and turning north. The Burning Blade is gaining. They will soon catch us. Alright, so turn north to a bigger island. So I'm guessing... That was probably Thieves Haven. So it's, yeah, by Lookout or Booty, either one of, the, one of those. So we'll head to those ones. But the nice thing is we have uh, all the journals done for this guy now. So we just have to worry about getting all this stuff done. So discover the ancient vault, uh, claim the Shroudbreaker artifacts, uh, complete the Shroudbreaker tall tale. And then these ones are just literally completing, uh, completing the tall tale five times and then completing all the stuff on it. So the first item we'll get for just doing it once and the second we'll get for doing it five times. Yeah, maybe. That's kind of the way I look at it. Okay, so we're looking north of here. Do we see a chest? not here, then it's going to be a uh, lookout point next to us. Yeah, I don't see a chest anywhere here. It's usually pretty obvious and I'm pretty sure it shines as well. Alright, yeah, I think it's lookout point then. Didn't see anything north of here, so. Alright, so it should be just north of this island. We shall see. There it is right there, I think. Yes, sir. 
Correct me if I'm misremembering, the Tall Tales have multiple versions. It wasn't always the same island you had to visit. No. So the Tall Tales all have different versions, but the different versions all follow the same pattern. It's just that you'll it'll lead you to different islands. So that same thing that led me to this island will it'll be the same uh like you know, they have to still take the directions and move in the same ways and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it'll just be a different island. So it'll say like we visited this island and headed, you know, southeast from here and then past this kind of island. And it might lead you to, you know, Cutlass K instead of, instead of uh, Lookout. You just never know. It'd sort of south after that. All right, the Cave of the Scarab hides near the Island of Tears. All right, so... Um, I know what island this is because I've done this before. This seems... I think this is always the same one to finish off on. I could be wrong, but... Um, so near the island's tears, if you look at the shape of the island on the left page there, it's uh, the same shape as Crook's Hollow on the map. So the shape right here of this island. And then uh, near the tears just means the waterfall. So we're going to go towards the waterfall on Crook's, and that's where the cave is. And then this uh, page to the right is the um, uh, the riddle that will be in the cave here. All right, so the tears aka the waterfall is right here so take that key and we'll head it guys up. Okay, so if you look in the book, Trad Breaker, then three warriors, three boats, three praising people. Okay, so Trad Breaker, three warriors. Boats. And someone holding a shroud breaker. And then someone holding a shroud breaker. And three praising people. Right there, there, and. we need to do is we need to look on this table and see where the medallions are there's three medallions to place in this thing right here and the first one is by a, a rock that has a scarab on it and then that little glowing thing is where you dig so that rock with the scarab you just have to search around the island but i already know where all these are here's the rock with the scarab so we just dig where the glowy part was And these skellies will just keep popping up indefinitely, so you don't have to kill them if you don't want to. They will not stop. Once you put that one in, a new one will pop up. New location. So that location is... That's the waterfall on the left right here. This is the little fire camp place right here, so it's just outside this... Uh, just outside this um, tunnel. Okay, so here's the waterfall. Here's the um, little camp thing. And it's right around here somewhere. There we go. 
So we'll throw that in and we'll get the third location. Okay, the third location is right by the rock that looks like a face. So the face is basically facing where you need to dig. And uh, I know, again, just from experience, that rock's on the top of the island. But just look for the rock that has the face. This rock is just all the way at the top here. Good thing is it's quite a rec recognizable rock. Hey, fellas. There we go. Take this back down, put it in the slot for the third medallion, and that should give us our Shroud Breaker. Well, it gives us the, uh, the statue of the Shroud Breaker. It's not the actual Shroud Breaker yet. This is just the first Tall Tale. So you can see the Shroud Breaker has a bunch of holes in it where crystals have to go. The crystals will come in later, uh, later Tall Tales. Alright, return Shroud Breaker to the Mysterious Stranger. So it doesn't have to be back to the Mysterious Stranger you talked to originally, it could be any outpost. Because he's at any outpost. Right, so all we have to do is just turn that shroud breaker in and then that is the end of the first tall tale. Uh, oh, I put it up here. It's right. <laughs> So the mysterious stranger is always going to be in the back of the bar at any outpost. Great Ramsey's ghost. I heard all the stories, but to actually hold the shroud breaker in my hands, I never thought I'd see the day. Something's wrong. There should be four jewels set in the base that grant the shroud breaker its power, but they've been removed. Without them, you won't last five minutes in that fog. Now let me think. I did hear tell that Captain Briggsy made it to the Shores of Gold. If that's true, she might know the whereabouts of these missing stones. Not that she'd ever say. Sometimes, even the best pirates fall victim to their greed or hatred, and it changes them, strips the flesh from their bones, gives them power, but twists them up inside. Briggsy is one such abomination. People call them skeleton lords, and most pirates flee at their approach. Not even the Order of Souls dares challenge them, and rightly so, but you, you are going to have to hunt one down. I have eyes and ears across the Sea of Thieves. If you gather any of the missing pieces, I'll see they're restored to the Shroudbreaker on your behalf. For now, head to Plunder Outpost and speak with Madame Olivia about Briggsy's whereabouts. Remember, skeleton lords are not to be taken lightly. All right. 
Okay, so the journal here should be on the northwest part of this island. There we go. What is the Devil's Shroud? Finally, a balmy day and a chance to document my research before it all spills out of my head and overboard. Ramsey has been thinking again, and that usually means I'm the one due for a headache. He called me late last night. Uh, Mercia, how might we stay safe in the Devil's Shroud? I just stared at him. Uh, we all know how dangerous that fog is. It sounds like sea, the Sea of Thieves, but it ebbs and flows. Sometimes it swallows uh, whole islands for months or even years at a time. Sail into the mist and you'll start to choke. The deck beneath your feet will splinter. The shroud feasts on the ships and sailors alike. Being me, of course, I told Ramsey I'd find a way. I left my notes tucked away in at Ancient Spire. I'll see what I can learn. So, there is a journal on Ancient Spire here. And if I remember correctly, it's over in this little cave thing here. If I can remember how to get to it. I think. I might be wrong. Right here, there we go. <clears throat> An ancient clue. Did you ever walk into a room thinking about something so hard you couldn't see it? You can see it right in front of you. The truth is like that sometimes. While well, filling my tankard below deck, I happened to glance down at my map table, Ancient Spire in the Ancient Isles, the truth. I've asked to set course for Devil's Ridge nearby. If I'm right, the key to breaching the shroud has been in front of me all along. We like to think of ourselves as being the first to find a way to reach the Sea of Thieves, but that isn't the truth. Not one bit. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so we gotta get all the way to the top, and it's right beside the cannon that shoots at you from the, the south side here. Oh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong cannon, never mind. I thought it was this cannon, I think it's the other one. My bad, my bad. I thought it was the south one. Here we go. Comings and goings. The first ones, the lost tribes, the ancients, whatever you call them, they lived here in what we now know as the Sea of Thieves. Give me a second. All right, let's try this again. Comings and goings. First ones, the lost tribes, the ancients, whatever you call them, they lived here in what we now know as the Sea of Thieves. Signs of their civilization can be found all over the place, even on islands that were once claimed by the Devil's Shroud. They built temples, altars, places that were important to them. They couldn't simply pack up and leave when the fog drew in. I'll need to cross-reference some of my oldest notes stashed away back at Thieves Haven. Our first hideout, how nostalgic. There we go. It's, yeah, right here. <clears throat> the Shroud Breaker. It exists. Proof lies in some of the most obscure places. Ramsey won't let me write down where, but the relic's real enough. As, I, as near as I can tell, they use the artifacts like a beacon to protect their homes and places of worship from the Shroud's effects. At other times, it was taken to a vault to recover its powers. When I told Ramsey, he replied, Ah, it's a Shroud Breaker then. All this seems... To have inspired him, we're making for Plunder Outpost on Ramsey's orders to see a man about a map. Alright. <clears throat> uh, well, this escalated quickly. Ramsey remembered the drunken ramblings of some old salt who'd sailed too close to the devil's shroud the old man claimed he'd glimpsed a glittering island one where 
The very ground was made of gems and precious metals. That sounds impossible, but Ramsey likes to say that's just another way of describing something we haven't seen yet. At first light, we'll be setting out to find the Shroudbreaker. If these shores of gold are real, it's the only way we'll reach them. I should get to my bunk and try for sleep. From now on, Ramsey's voyage journal can tell our story. All right. Let's begin. Journal of the Pirate Lord.